Frog bro. What else would it be? Of course it's a frog bro. Let's get straight into this. This is a completely encapsulated battery soldering iron, so it doesn't need a power cable like the pine silk did. This is the box. It's quite boring. I mean, if you're into that kind of thing. Leaflet, um, we don't need that. It's probably instructions, who cares? A really cool stand. This is a spare tip. I'll look at that in a second. We've got solder, which I'm not going to use because the rules of the game are that I use the same solder for each iron. We've got power supply and a cable. The cable that came with it is a bit longer. It's, it's down there. It's plugged in. It's USB-C, by the way, which is nice. Okay, here's the solder. Now let's look at the tip. If that looks familiar, let's see if it wants to focus anywhere at all. No? Here? Maybe? No? I'll stick my hand under it. Yes. Do you recognise that? That is like a torch bulb, which is kind of weird, but if it works, whatever. It's going to focus back down here. Yes. It's being nice today. That just It just screws in there. It just screws in there. I'm going to turn off the autofocus and see whether... Okay, uh, I will put the tip back in. Uh, the stand needs wetting, the, the sponge needs wetting. Uh, the solder is one millimetre solder. I had some comments about that last last time. I, I didn't realise that one millimetre solder was that weird. I, I don't really care as long as it's not too fat to solder with. So this time I'm picking this soldering kit at random. Uh, I don't know... I really don't know what it is. Makes it all the more interesting, right? Okay, let's go. Probably a time lapse. Oh, before I do that, I've wet my desk. That was a brilliant idea, wasn't it? The sponge is the sponge is wet, but I don't think using a watering can was a was a brilliant idea. There's a notice on here which you can't read. Can you read that? No. It basically says you have to press this button three times to activate this, which is the touch sensor. That's kind of cool, because it means it won't go off in your baggage or whatever. So press it three times. One, two, three. It does nothing. Ah, do you see what I see? This says four three seconds. This sticker said three times. Oh, okay, okay. Right. First use. Plus. Plus. Press the power button three times continuously. First use. So I presume that's when it comes to you from the factory. And from thence on, you can't read that, or you could just about read that. From thence onwards, press the power button for three seconds. I mean, that's quite confusing, isn't it? It's a good job we didn't throw these away. One, two, three. Aha! Right. So let's get on with, oh yeah, it's got a touch sensor, so it heats up. This light here, I think, is when it's heating. See? Red. And I think it turns green when it's up to temperature. I, I haven't used it for soldering, but I've tested it before. There we go. And that supposedly is up to temperature. It certainly seems to be. That's actually quite a good start, isn't it? That's really neat. Okay, I find it a bit uncomfortable having to hold the button down. That's a bit weird, but I guess I'll get used to it. Let's carry on. So here we are, it's done. I found it quite fiddly and it's not because there's anything wrong with the soldering iron itself, it's the tip. The tip is too big for this kind of work. You can see that some of these connections are definitely a bit 
Oh, actually, we've got a couple of dry ones here, haven't we, I think? No, I think it's just the light. But yeah, you can see some of these connections are a bit dicey, and I was waiting for that joke because that's what it is. It's an electronic dice. So let's get that back. This is a chip, and the other one, I think, is a... Yeah, chip. Um, it's actually a 555, I think. I can't quite see. Yep, that's a 555. This is a CD4017, which, as I already said, is a chip. Um, if you want things reverse engineering, go and watch Big Clive. This is far too highbrow for this channel. Did that? Yeah, that did go in. Right, so it needs, apparently, I'll show you the AliExpress page now. It needs four and a half to five volts. I think I've got 4.2 it's good enough. I had to figure out which way round it goes. Um, still not entirely sure I know. Uh, black, I think, is minus. <laughs> this could explode. It might not even work. There's some definitely dodgy solder joints in here. Oh, that's not a good sign, is it? Well, that's a lose. <laughs> that's really good. Well done. Proud of that. Is anything getting hot? Okay, I've soldered the wires underneath, so we're now going to try again. Um, aha! Perfect. Now, I did not expect that, actually. So that was clearly the connectors were the wrong size, weren't they? Oh, okay. Five. 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 Seems like it can roll fives. Oh, I see. Four. I have no idea how this thing works. Oh, I see. You have to not jab it that much. Right. And we wait. I presume it slows down. Yes, it does. It's always an adventure, isn't it? Soldering random circuits from AliExpress. I think that is a win. Completely unexpected. I thought I'd completely messed that up. I'm guessing actually two of the LEDs don't work. And do you know what? I think I know why. Because I think all the LEDs should be on. So no. It's simply because the Frogbro it runs too hot for this kind of work. And it just took the tiny connection i'll put the light back on and show you there if you look here can you see that's not touching the track it's hovering above the track it's completely peeled the tracks off and it's just due to the heat it just completely took the tracks off i can probably bodge that because it can connect to there and we'll see if we can get it fixed so give me a moment okay that seemed to work didn't it Turn the lights back off. Success. One. So there you go. Kind of a success. Um, Scoring-wise, I think it's a really capable soldering iron. It's definitely, it definitely runs hotter than the pine sill. I know that sounds weird because it's a lower wattage. It's something like... 8 watts. Um, but it's kind of just... It just does whatever. I think the temperature is probably about 450, something like that. It takes longer to heat up, but it, it has a much bigger heat capacity. This is kind of your equivalent to, say, a butane torch, because it the, the battery is completely self-contained. So it's for taking out traveling to do quick jobs. It's, it's not really meant for soldering PCBs like this. So the fact that it did is testament to how good it is but at the same time there were mistakes it wasn't that trivial a pcb to be soldering and it did it so i'm going to put the arbitrary scores on screen and that is the frog bro see you next time